What's up guys, it's Dan from One Man's Waste and from Spaghetti Code. Today I'm going to film this video and I'm going to post this video on both of my channels exactly the same because some of you may be interested in the content coming from both sources. Um, so I'll put links down in the description for, uh, for both channels in case you're subscribed to one and not the other and you want to follow both because it's two separate subject matters generally speaking, but in this regard they kind of overlap. So today I'm going to do a video on how to recover um, crypto coins or abandoned wallets on old hard drives. And the reason that information is useful is that some of us, whether you're in the tech industry or whether you're in the e-waste recycling industry, I happen to be in both, um, some of us acquire a lot of unwanted electronics. And back in the earlier, like, 2000. 10 to 2013 or 14, some of those earlier generation um, PCs might contain wallets that were abandoned back when people thought, this is one cent a piece, who cares? Um, originally, when Bitcoin mining was a lot easier, people were able to, they were able to get Bitcoin with solo mining. And so the block reward was quite a bit, it was significant, you know, 25 or 50 coins per block so somebody might have 50 bitcoins sitting there and at today's prices uh 50 bitcoins times forty thousand dollars a piece that's a significant find if you find one on a wallet so as requested here's how to to do it before we get into specifics on it which is going to be very fast and it's coming in just a second um i want to note also that there's several types of altcoins there's litecoin there's dog or dog or doge however you want to pronounce it i've heard it every which way there's ether there's you know ethereum or whatever you call it there's uh all kinds of cryptos all of those cryptos work in a very similar way so i'm going to show you how to get to this folder on these hard drives and there's going to be two ways to do it um the first way is if you're logged into the computer that was given to you I'm going to show you how to get to it that way. And then there's going to be a second way to do it if you have to mount that hard drive to get in. So if you're trying to boot to the hard drive, then if you boot to it and you can't get in because there's a password, I'm going to do a second video and I'm going to put a link in this description. You're going to want to go to that video to learn how to wipe the password so that you can log in on those drives. So you're going to want to go watch that, get into the account, and then you can follow the steps for if you're logged in. If um, if that's not an option for you, or if um, you just want to do it the old-fashioned way and mount the drives, then you can follow the second part. But So here we go. I'm going to flip over the camera, and then we're going to go ahead and start doing this. Okay, so method one is going to be real simple. Uh, from your Windows PC that you're logged into, assuming you've already... So wiped your password or changed your password or if you knew the password or there was no password so you're logged in right you're going to on your keyboard press windows and r and it's going to bring up the run dialog box and it, as you can see i've got a command typed here you're going to type in this command that's percent app data percent just like it is here you're going to press enter and that's going to bring you to your c colon username um slash app data slash roaming path. It's gonna bring you here. And Windows stores a lot of files here, particular to different titles of software. And so when you, for example, back in the day, if you were running the Windows client or the Windows Bitcoin client, this would create a folder here called Bitcoin. And inside of that Bitcoin folder, there's not one here, but you just double click into that folder and it would say wallet.dat. You're gonna take that and you're gonna copy it onto a thumb drive. Now you might also find Dogcoin, Litecoin, or any other coin-related folder here, um, Ethereum and any of those. So you're gonna to wanna to click into those and just grab those wallet files. Now I think in Ethereum, I believe that it um, creates a folder called Wallets. Just grab that whole folder because they have, uh, their software works a little bit differently. But you're gonna to wanna to grab those and later on, uh, in a second part of this video that I'll release in a day or two, I'll show you then how to import those wallets. Um, but this machine's not set up for it, so I got to do that on a different day. But I'll show you how to import that wallet.dat. And uh, 
and hopefully, so back then when these coins were virtually worthless, um, although the option to encrypt your wallet was present, most people chose not to. And so you're going to more than likely have access to what's ever in there. We just have to import that wallet and then sync to the blockchain and you can extract that coin too. Uh, personally, I use um, Cash App for these type of transactions. You can actually withdraw to your Cash App account. And then at that point, you can sell the Bitcoins for what they're worth and have it in your checking account in just a matter of uh, five to 10 minutes. So I hope this part has helped. If it doesn't work for you, if you can't do it this way, the other way to do this is let's assume that you're not logged in. So this is the second part I mentioned before. Um, you're going to want, yes. So in the other instance, you're going to just come over here. Now on mine, it's the C drive, but if you have it mounted, it might be your M or your D or your E or whatever letter drive um, that Windows install uh, sets up for you. But you're gonna wanna click into your drive in question, and then you're going to go to users. Gonna double click on users, and then you're going to click on the username. From in here, you're going to need, once you're inside of there, you're going to need to go view hidden items. Hidden items has got to be checked. And then once you get in here, oh, come on. You're going to see something like this, okay? And you're gonna go at that point into uh, app data. And then there's your local and there's your roaming. Um, and then here's where your Bitcoin stuff would be. So I've got a bunch of stuff in mind. This is, you know, it's crazy. Um, if you're ever needing, by the way, if you're trying to extract old on your own devices, if you're ever trying to extract old Apple backups uh, manually, they're actually stored right here. So uh, inside of that Apple mobile sync folder, but that's for a different video too. So that's how you do it. Uh, I'll put up part two in a couple days to show you how to import that wallet if you're recovered, uh, if you're able to recover. Now, if I make somebody a millionaire here because you found a wallet, um, you know, don't forget about me. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this is uh, some type of content that you'd like to see. I'll drop both channel links down in the description. Thanks again.